serious? Are you serious? What? There's been an X flare. I mean a huge, huge solar flare on the sun, folks. Here we go again, but there's a little bit of conflicting reports. I don't know if it's conflicting or not. I've seen some a video someone sent me that there is a, uh, a strong R3 solar flare radio blackout. It's, also, it's being reported by NOAA, uh, a newly numbered region 1990, the return of old region 1967, just now rotating into view, has produced an R3 strong solar flare radio blackout today, February 25th, 2014. Although it's impressive, the source of this event is well off the Sun-Earth line, and the CME associated with this event is not headed directly to Earth. Thank God for that. Analysis continues to be determined, though, what and if any geomagnetic impact this will have. Now, also, uh, BP Earthwatch, uh, I think a few hours ago, someone sent me an email uh, that's, that he did that says that there's been a massive X flare, 4.9. A massive X 4.9 solar flare uh, returning from sunspot 1967 uh, with solar and earthquake links. And so, as you know, it's, uh, th this can affect earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes. All right. So I got a feeling it's the same solar flare. I got a feeling either. I don't know what an X 4.9 compared to an R3 is. Is it the same? Or has it been upgraded from an X4.9 to an R3? Guess what, guys? I don't know. I don't know. And so we'll let the experts handle that. But I can say this. Jesus said there will be signs. Look at this. Luke 20, uh, 21, 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear, looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. It's not just the earth. Whatever's going on in the spiritual world, folks, we know. We've been saying it. It seems it manifests as in the physical. And I'm going to tell you something else. The technology of today is catching up with the prophecies of the Bible. We're now being able to see these signs and understand the impact that was on the moon on 9-11-2013. We just found out about it yesterday. It was so strong that it was powerful. Um, and uh, also, we know that the tsunamis, the earthquakes, Jesus said there would be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in divers places. The sea and the waves roaring. Heavens are shaken. We know the Bible even says there's, there's going to be uh, 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 like a mountain, like burning like a lamp, will fall from the sky. Some type of meteor or asteroid crashing into the earth, killing a third of the uh, the fish in the sea and a third of the boats in the ocean, and burning up trees and grass and all kinds of stuff. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible, and we know it's coming to pass in these last days. So. Having that in mind, understanding that's the time we're living in, it's truly important that we give our lives to Jesus Christ because the intensity of these events seem to be magnifying. They seem to be increasing. So, uh, uh, and from what I understand, let me just look to you right now. Here's what Noah says. Okay, Noah says uh, that this was a newly, uh, and I just read to you, it was a newly, uh, it came from this 1967, the old sunspot, but it is an R3 massive strong solar flare. Good news, it wasn't directly facing the Earth. But uh, uh, BP Earthwatch's video on the X Class 4.9, which I believe is the same solar flare, uh, he talks about how the next two weeks, though, that will be the re residual pressure that the Earth is under, folks, from these not only these lot of activity of solar flares on the sun, but the comet linear. And remember, the comet linear is going to be within 1 million miles of the Earth on May 24th, 2014. That's after the first blood moon, right about the time they might be signing the covenant with many, the peace agreement, which is in Daniel 9:27. I don't know. 
Or maybe a Psalms 83 war will break out in Israel. Remember, last night, I did a video on it last night. I, did, I had to break in and do it. Last night, Israel attacked Hezbollah missiles that were along the Syrian-Lebanese border and blew them up. All right? And we'll be reporting on that this afternoon at my live show. But also, remember this, the Pope from the Vatican is coming to Jerusalem. What day? Same day, May 24th, 2014. So we'll wait and see what the experts say about this solar flare. Uh, uh, I know that BP Earthwatch did his, apparently when I look at the time, he did his video about four or five hours ago and he was calling it an X flare 4.9. And this other video that somebody just sent me a minute ago uh, that was done about 15 minutes ago says it's a strong R3 solar flare, and the link is spaceweather.com. So that's where you get the information. So it may be that they're upgrading it. Um, I'll stay out of that. I don't know. God bless. I know this. Jesus is coming. All right. I know he's coming. I can see the signs everywhere. And I know that if we're not saved, we're going to be left behind. And you don't want to do that. All right? Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're in the last days.